it it could be leaking both places. It's, uh, it could have been leaking on the on outside, outside and too. the inside. I don't know. morning on the way into the farm my uncle stopped me and said hey have you ever put seals in a cylinder before I said yeah I've done that uh, he's got a cylinder off of his uh, front end loader on his compact tractor that uh, the end had broken here so he had it welded well of course with all the heat uh, having that welded the seal has gone bad on this cylinder so he's got the seal kit I told him I would attempt to uh, put it in for him, so let's see if I can uh, figure this out. I've done too much recording uh, of spreading fertilizer today, so my battery is not going to last through this, so I cannot record the whole thing. But I'll try to get the important parts for you. Okay, I had to do some searching on YouTube to figure this out. Uh, so, this, this snap ring that I took off on the outside here, what this does is hold this collar from going in. So now, apparently what I have to do is bang this in about an inch and a half, and there's a, an internal snap ring inside of here that apparently this orange gasket fits in that groove, then that snap ring bypasses that groove and you can pull this thing out. I tried hitting down on this uh, ram a couple of times and this just didn't move. So I said, wait a minute, something else is going on. It didn't make sense that this snap ring was here on the outside. What's holding this thing from shooting out this way you know, when you put pressure on everything. So thank goodness for YouTube um, and the internet. So let's see if I can uh, figure this part out. Okay, there's, I see, I think I've got it far enough back for the groove. So let me put that uh, orange seal in there. This seal is tapered. Not sure if you can see that, but this is the thinner part. This is the wider part on the back side. So the theory is you put this in the groove, that thinner part down, and then that uh, snap ring, that internal snap ring will ride uh, over top of this and uh, hold it, wait, have I got that right? Yes. That snap ring will then um, bypass that groove on the inside and ride over top of this. So let's see if that happens. Okay, I've got the uh, that orange um, ring in there. You've got to make sure uh, you push it around that cylinder tight. Um, so there's no overlap. You know, it, you saw it that it's, uh, it's cut in half uh, in order to get it in there. But make sure you push it in there so those two ends go down and meet. So there's no overlap on that orange ring. So let's see if I can uh, get this out of here now. Okay, I've uh, put this up here in my vise. I've put a bolt through here, but I've also put some pressure on the, on the vise. Now I'm going to put this pin in here. Take a hammer and hit down on that pin, and hopefully everything slides um, down through there.
Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's binding on that one side to the left there. Hmm. Yeah, to the left there, that uh, it's slipping out of there, so let me push this back in and try to set it in there better. Okay, it appears I'm going to have to get another filler ring uh, because this one, it is binding up as this thing is, as I'm pulling this thing out, it is binding up and then wanting to shove this uh, filler ring out of here. And of course, so now it's messed up a little bit and doesn't fit in there uh, properly. I've, I've tried this three times now and each time one side of it wants to grab and kind of shove it around and out and so now that okay battery went dead on the other camera uh, so as I was saying this filler ring uh, just the the collar is not bypassing that filler ring it wants to shove that filler ring out on one side and make it a little cockeyed. And so now I think the filler ring is screwed up. I tried spraying some, um, what did I put around there? Uh, some of this just uh, to give it a little bit of lubrication, hoping it would help it slide over that ring, but it's just not doing it. So hopefully we can get just that filler ring without getting the whole kit of uh, seals again. So let's, uh, let's see, it's almost six o'clock, so nothing is open now to figure that out. I'll have to come back to this in the morning. Look at that. My John Deere dealer had an extra ring here, so I'm going to attempt this one more time here. Let's see if we can get it out. All right, I forgot to turn the camera on, but we finally got it with a little bit of beating and banging. <laughs> Let me pause here. I forgot to turn the camera on while pulling this cylinder apart. So I got the second filler ring in there. And then what we did was uh, hook this cylinder between the hitches of two pickup trucks and then put a strap on it, a ratchet strap, and just... Uh, put as much pressure as we could with the ratchet strap and then just uh, tapped it some with a hammer and that was enough to uh, pop this thing out of there so I apologize for not uh, turning the camera on I don't always think about it when someone else is there helping me I think the issue with the first ring was I was actually um, hitting it on one side of that cylinder and that was causing it to go cockeyed and screw up that ring so uh, anyway, we got it out of there and um, continued on. Good God! <laughs> All right, so we have that seal. I see that in there. And it doesn't look like that matters which way it goes on. And now, see this is that, inter that internal snap ring. So that falls in that groove oh. that we put that thing in. So that's why this thing wasn't coming out until that piece of rubber or that ring was in there, that piece oh. of plastic. Because otherwise, this oh, is Oh, so we don't need that rubber. No, you don't need it to go back on there. No, oh. no it's okay. only to take it off. Oh. Yep, only to take it off. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> I'll leave that on now. Oh, yeah. Did I? Lock 
lock it back in or um yeah yeah just to hold it in place yeah i can see that seal is, is probably the there. heat yeah. when he mm-hmm Catch that in case it goes, I don't know if it's going to go flying, but. Let me go, yeah, you go. So I hit this. Down a little bit further, yeah. So this is the seal we don't have. So I have that on order. And it looks like there's another one back in there. Well, let me go get my pick. But why would it be leaking here if this is the field that's... Well, it, it could be leaking both places. This, uh, it could have been leaking on the on outside and too. the inside. I don't know. Because I know it's shooting that. looked like it was... Okay. Put it in the vice to hold it. Yeah, but I don't want to screw that up uh, too bad. What have I got to put around it? Uh, duct tape. A little bit more. All right. It ain't gonna take much, I don't think. This is just a what they call a wiper seal that just keeps the dust when as that cylinder goes back in there, yeah. this just wipes the dust off of it. That one I have on order. All right, let's take this back out of the vise. And my pick here. Is I, that one bad? I would imagine it is. If it was leaking uh -uh. out of that part of it, it would have to be. And since we're this far, uh -uh. I think we're gonna have to replace Please. it. Let me uh, let me see if I can find it on. Yesterday morning before I walked out of the house, I put a new, uh, not a new, another SD card in this camera because the one that was in here was filled up. I didn't have enough time to uh, wait for all the footage to download to my computer, so I just put a different SD card in, went ahead and formatted it, got no errors. Guess what? When I got home last night to shove this SD card in the computer, it took no video from yesterday. Uh, there's something wrong with the card. It's got a video on it that, um, I cannot read, I cannot do anything with it. I've tried to format the card, uh, still nothing. There's some kind of glitch in the card. I've never seen that before. So what you missed was um, I finally got the cylinder back together that I was working on for my uncle. We got it uh, on his tractor, it did not leak. So job complete, it was fairly easy getting it back together uh, and he used the the tractor and loader most of the afternoon yesterday so that's good no leaks on that and then what else did i do oh i finished uh spreading fertilizer uh on my soybean ground so it's saturday afternoon we've got a a front about to roll through i think in the next hour or two uh, supposed to be some severe thunderstorms rolling through so hopefully before that happens uh i can get this spreader washed up here and then I've got to wash the uh, truck out, get that fertilizer out of that truck so uh, it doesn't rust up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Storm clouds off to the west here. Uh, that front is rolling through. We need the rain. We don't need the thunderstorms or the hail that goes with it, but we do need the rain. Oh yeah, two weeks ago, a terrible thunderstorm that we had roll through here. 
my uncle actually had a lightning strike uh, at his house. He's got an electric pole with the transformer, transformer on it. Lightning struck that electric pole, took out the transformer, and then that lightning traveled through. I think it knocked out one or two of his televisions in the house. And then in his shop where his panel box was, the lightning shot up through the panel box and then somehow ended up in the roof or in the rafters on the corner of his shop, blew the tin up a couple of inches and uh, blew the soffit off and then took a piece of the rafter I don't know, about an uh, inch, inch thick by 12 inches long, and knock that out. Why it didn't burn the place down, I don't know. He was very lucky. I say he was lucky in that it, it didn't burn the place down. Um, it took out all of his lights in his shop, so he's, I think he's putting new lights up today. Uh, took out his, uh, his um, power supply or his, let me get out of the wind his um, uh, air conditioning heat unit uh, took out the control module on that I think in his house he had um, blower motor on his furnace go bad um, so yeah I had some 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 damage there but you know nothing burnt down but that was a hell of a lightning strike to to do that and don't know how it came out of the panel box that you know was this high and there's no wires going out of that panel box up to the roof of the shop but that i guess that's where it exited and that's where it came out and blew that uh as i said you can see the buckle in the tin and the soffit was blown off um, so yeah very lucky okay uh so i'm gonna finish i'm gonna start uh with the pressure washer here get this cleaned up um so that's enough of this video i'm gonna say see ya All right, the rain is getting close. The front is coming through. I can already feel it starting to cool down.